An absolutely beautiful 322 Coachman just landed here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan on a fairly beautiful summer morning. Um, I want to mention right away, like I tend to do, there are a lot of options and upgrades and specifically on a Freedom Express packages that are not standard equipment. I'll try to point that stuff out as we go so that you understand the difference between maybe the one here in this video versus the one we have in stock, maybe versus the one that you're seeing down the road. Um, so let's get dug in here. Uh, Freedom Express, what is it? Why would you buy it? Who would? Who is this for? It is both Coachman's top level trailer and lightweight. It serves two purposes. Interestingly, the bigger a trailer gets, the more like a lightweight it needs to be built, so you can tow it. If it's this big and not built like a lightweight, you're not going to tow it. But this doesn't have the features profile of a lightweight. It has the shell of a lightweight is what's interesting. So you've, you've got, uh, you know, uh, like the fuel economy essentially of a little gas sipping four cylinder, but you have the features of a Cadillac, you know, it, that, that's kind of what I'm getting at. So what I mean by that is we have one of the largest front pass through storages in this class. And that's always been a big thing at Freedom Express. We're also getting uh, a full two, four, uh, two foot by four foot outdoor picnic table right here. You know, they include that with this RV. It's one less thing you got to bring with you. And that's a good indicator to me. And you're going to see several things like this. This is designed top to bottom, inside and out with the end user in mind, not how pretty it looks for the dealer, although it does look really good. Um, we also have full LED basement storage here, so you can actually see what you're getting into. And LEDs are easy on your, uh, you know, battery. When you get a power jack system with a Freedom Express, they hide the controller way up here so that, uh, you know, if someone is just kind of being a jerk walking through, they can't get to it. So as this one is equipped in this video, we have power awning, power stabilizers, power tongue jack, power everything. You're going to see a better grade uh, awning and uh, jack system on a Freedom Express because they are not designed to be the cutthroat cheapest thing out there. They're designed to be one of the very best in their class. Keep in mind, every RV is the best at something. Sometimes that one thing though is just a price tag and I encourage you to find out how they get that price tag where it's at because there are differences. They are not all made the same. It's little detail stuff like this that separates a Freedom Express from you. Once the camera zooms in there, there we go. You see this rough textured skin. That is uh, the side of the slide out here and it's pulling that slide seal taut. If that slide seal doesn't get pulled all the way out, if it crimps and it, it buckles, you see how you got a little gap right there? If it buckles, you're gonna have a leak. If you have a leak, you got a problem. You get a problem, uh, I, I, you know, insurance companies don't cover seals. That's what people don't realize. You can insure these things, but uh, they, they still require proper maintenance from an insurance company, and very few insurance companies cover seals. They'll cover things like a tree crushing this thing, but not lack of maintenance or a seal or improper use. Fully enclosed, underbelly, insulated, heated, so this is a good extended season RV. Anytime I start adding the word lightweights, and extended season. I'm not talking four seasons. And unfortunately, that word is thrown out there way too much. The, uh, it seems like everybody's selling every single RV out there as a four seasons coach today. It's not true, it's unfortunate. That's why I put these videos together, to try to help educate you folks before you go spending a lot of money to make sure it's the right one. And if you are looking for something that is like made for Alaska camping, we got it. Don't, don't hesitate that, but know that we're going to shoot you straight. But the fact is, Unless it's minus 20, you know, with the wind blowing, you're, you're probably going to be fine here. Um, all of your windows will open for ventilation. That's a big thing in a Freedom Express. And that's actually one of the reasons I had someone say, why aren't they using frameless windows on those Coachmans? Simply stated, they don't get as much airflow as a window like this, especially one like this, a jealousy style window. You can still use this in the rain. But these giant slider panel windows get amazing cross breeze. And every window you see in this Freedom Express will open for ventilation. Um, we uh, went past them and we're going to go past another set, but the, uh, these are set on wide stance axles to give you more stability going down the road. Um, also aluminum wheels, which never seems to offend anybody. I love that window right there. That's a lot of light and a lot of airflow. People don't realize windows and interior lighting are the two most expensive total cost components in an RV. Crazy but true. Um, you know, if you total up all the cost of the, all these windows, it's one of the very most expensive things in this coach because they have to be really good quality. Plus, these are UV tinted. They're not, um, you know, the uh, kind of where your furniture is going to fade super easy. 322 has an outdoor entertainment center here with a 32 inch flat screen outside because you're roughing it. <laughs> and the other thing I like out here is the this little handy storage pocket. 
this is super useful if you've actually gone camping this is the perfect place you're going to keep your flashlight your your grill lighter you're going to keep your citronella candles your your sunscreen all your bug spray all that handy outdoor stuff that you always wish you had one arm's reach away you can have it an arm's reach away in a freedom express that's why i like these i was talking about the wide stance axles these give you stability going down the road so the trailer isn't pushing you around the road plus again everybody likes aluminum wheels they look good uh, we do have a uh, an LED light strip at the awning that I failed to turn on. I have one job to do, and I failed. But we can correct that. There we go. So, power awning, LED light strip. I can't quite open the awning all the way, but actually it's kind of a cool thing because with the awnings, uh, the lights are against the base of the awning. You can still turn them on even if you don't have the awning out. When the awning lights are in the tube, you can't do that. That's, that's a big difference between things there. Let's step inside here. Now... Um, if you've followed RVs, which a lot of you do, I, I've, I've learned that there's a lot of people that just get, a, get online every day and just start looking at these things and researching for years. And that's awesome. That's awesome because this is a big investment. I want to make sure that you're really happy with it. it but if you followed Freedom Express for a couple years, uh, you're going to see that they just made a big cosmetic update starting from that nose cap inside and really... Pretty much everything inside has been touched up, but it's been minor. It's been little touches. They didn't really need to reinvent the wheel. They just, just tuned it in a little bit, you know? First thing I like to point out is the lights are just way better now. They've had good lighting and stuff, but you had like three, four switches. Now, flip one button, bam, all the lights come on. You have a double bank of LED lights, not just a single bank running down one side or the other of the coach, which is very common in lightweights. They are also all LEDs, good high intensity LED lights. And amazingly, they actually specifically yellow these bulbs slightly so that it doesn't look like a white doctor's office in here because that is just drab and dreary. And this has such a rich and just luscious look about it. One of my favorite parts of this 322 is right when you walk inside, giant closet, just giant closet. Now, we've got, you know, hats and gloves, storage up here, obviously lots of room for coats. You don't need a central vacuum system or to bring anything along because this one includes a Dyson handheld. Keep in mind, equipment like this is uh, stuff that may come or go through the season. Always double check your picture tour to make sure it matches up with this one. But these are this Dyson system is the same thing you're getting in these $100,000 fifth wheels, guys. It is replacing the central vacuum system virtually across the board. And in a couple years, it'll probably be all the way there. They are lightweight, they work like crazy, and uh, they're just easy. They don't take up a lot of space. So uh, once again, they've done some cosmetic updates in here. Again, I want to mention the fabric schemes that you're seeing here, though. I think they look really good. Maybe you don't. And the next 322 we have in stock might have a different color on the sofa. So don't hesitate to double check our photos. Or um, if you're just on YouTube, there's a little link that says click here for pricing and availability. Check it. Who knows? Who knows what else we have in stock? So... One of the cool things here, one of the reasons we like to keep a dinette in this model is because of all the storage you get in a, a Freedom Express dinette. And that is a big thing with a Freedom Express. I'm going to wear the word storage out in here. You're going to get really sick of hearing it, frankly, probably. I get tired of saying it sometimes, but it's true. And it needs to be pointed out because, again, this is designed with end users in mind, not just for a dealer to show. Extra little things like this I love. The skylight above the dinette is awesome if you want to get more ambient, natural light. But so you don't feel like an ant under a magnifying glass, you do have that little pole shade right there. Even in the dinette, they have extra little spotlights. So let's say, uh, you know, you're a couple where um, one of you goes to bed before the other and the other likes to read a book or something like that. You can just flip on a quick little spotlight and read a book. Now, we've upgraded this one to feature theater seating right here. Sometimes you might see theater seats, sometimes recliner, all kinds of different combinations. However, they are spending a little bit more on this Freedom Express theater seating here. First of all, you know, the, the extra little storage pockets and uh, the, the, all these little bonus features, um, all that stuff is different from a standard base model. And this thing just, it opens right up. You can actually recline that down and lay back further if you are so inclined. It's a really good napping spot. If it's rainy all day, <laughs> just come in and pop in a movie. Grab a blanket. You're going to go right out. Um, this is a full memory foam hide-to-bed sofa back here. And at the time of this filming, when they just updated this product, they've actually bulked this thing up. The, the padding and fabrics here are, I, I'm shooting from the hip, but about 30% thicker. It is, again, higher grade than what you commonly find in a lightweight RV. Um, your fireplace down here is an electric space heater. So you don't have to burn up your propane when you've already bought their electricity. 
you know, you don't have to pay extra for it. Now, uh, we have an even larger, what, 39-ish, 40-inch flat screen TV here in the living room. So you have, you know, e even more viewing space here. And one thing I like to point out is it is on an adjustable swing arm. So if we want to kick that sideways to really face the rear sofa, we can do that. If you want to turn it to face the cooking area or the dinette, you can do that. There is no bad seat in this house. It conforms to you. I love that. All of the countertop materials in a Freedom Express are fully sealed edge. Now, as part of the Liberty Edition, we are looking at um, LG countertops here, solid surface sealed countertops. Um, however, if we didn't have that upgrade and you see everywhere else, you're still getting a higher grade countertop than you're going to find in other RVs. This is sealed edge. It's not T-molded. That means there's no seams where water could seep in. But that's really kind of critical is like, say, in the bathroom or here on your, your uh, dinette table where, like, if you spill a nice tea or the grandkids come over and they're all hopped up on s'mores that you fed them and they and they spill their their fruit drink or whatever it's not gonna it's not gonna seep in here and cause that thing to swell and fall apart um all in one am fm cd dvd system with bluetooth outside speakers it slices it dices it julie ends it pretty much does everything uh you don't have to worry about lugging along extra electronics uh essentially is what i'm getting at here so we, uh, we've got a huge pantry going on here. And what I love about this is if you have a couple tall things, you can conform this pantry to your needs. So, uh, but you also have a couple thick shelves down here for really heavy stuff if you need to do that. Um, as part of the Premier package, we get that fireplace and this bigger eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer we're looking at. That's 33% bigger than the average fridge used in the average lightweight or the average travel trailer, frankly. So again, this has the features and amenities of a top shelf travel trailer in a lightweight shell. That's what the Freedom Express is. It's a, it's, it's a kind of unique thing in that respect. And there are some other very classy lightweights out there. This one does take it up a notch. There are very few things that really do match up against this. Um, there's a couple other copycat brands out there. But anytime you like you take a piece of paper and you run it through a copy machine, detail is lost. And if you call us with a brand name and you want to compare... I think we can show you how that's true. Now, they all have good qualities, but, they, you know, they're not a Freedom Express. Um, extra outlets hidden away up here. I do like to point that out. So you do have a great spot to, like, run a griddle down here or, uh, you know, coffee makers, all that. Again, storage, scientifically speaking, <clears throat> out the wazoo. You have tons of storage going on in here. All kinds of drawer space. That is a mega drawer space. You could put a pizza pan in there if you were so inclined. Now, normally this cool little um, organizer would wrap around under the sink because this has a sink on the island. They weren't able to place it there. But this is a really big deal at Freedom Express. They make sure they put it in every single floor plan without fail. Even this little walk-in stand right here has full pass-through storage. And it's just a big, easy place. Like if you walk in with a set of groceries to restock, you've got an easy place to set stuff down. You know, it's just so handy that way. Over here on the back of the island, you're going to see double sets of outlets so that, again, you can run your appliances and extra things up here. And just storage all over the place. Everywhere storage. Even including a spot for a trash can, which, again, another indicator that this is made for people that go camping. This is made for people that use this thing, not just a dealer to show. We will typically, uh, especially on one this size, upgrade to a 15,000 BTU Air instead of a 13.5. Thing is, they look the same when you're walking through it. So you need to double check the option sheet to see how yours is built. Again, built for the end user in mind. They give you a cell phone or device or tablet charging station or whatever you got. So instead of uh, spending, you know, some significant money, because let's, let's admit, this is not a small purchase. This is a significant purchase. You didn't spend this kind of money to have this giant tangle of um, phone chargers laying next to the door. So you can plug those things in here. You can run the cord down through this little hole. Then the only thing that you have is just this, just that, just this little thing sticking out, three inches of cable maybe. Now this will reach all the way back to that Bluetooth stereo I was talking about there. And actually that Bluetooth stereo will reach two or three campsites away. And that's no joke. I have tried that. Even this window opens for ventilation, maximum ventilation. This is a really good way. Remember how I told you this is a UV tinted window? That makes a big difference. That's also privacy. That's also cutting down on heat getting poured inside your RV. Um, the bedroom here has, uh, again, full LED lighting. We do have a vent in the ceiling for uh, to help get ventilation and whatnot. This is a true 80-inch bed. That's something they flipped to roughly last year. 
So this does have a true queen bed, 60 inch by 80 inch. A lot of lightweights are not giving us storage above the bed, and a lot of lightweights are not giving us really, really deep wardrobe cabinets like this one is. So you can actually pack stuff in here. We do have uh, bedside stands with power outlets, so folks with CPAP machines, you don't have to decide, do I go camping or do I sleep well this weekend? You get to do both. Now the 322 also has this wardrobe slide right here. Rather than a full bed slide out which extends the RV, makes it longer, makes it heavier, and costs more money, this gives us all that same storage with uh, no additional length added to the RV and far less weight and cost, but you still get all the storage. Now what's kind of cool is that storage cabinet also cuts through into the bathroom. So this is also giving us bathroom linen space that you otherwise would not have. You have a fifth wheel spa style shower. What that means is that the door slides open from the middle instead of swinging open. So what that means, you don't have to walk in here, you don't have to swing a door open, which puts your naked backside out in the hallway where the grandkids are gonna get terrified. And then you don't have to walk back in here. You just step in. And hey, I kept I keep telling you how this thing's taller. I am, uh, you know, my head's not in the bubble. My head's all the way against the wall here so that, you know, there's still plenty of room above my head. I don't have to put my head in the bubble. That's what that extra three inches means to tall people like me. Plus we're getting, getting nicer fixtures like a porcelain stool and whatnot. Everything in this is truly a cut above. I mean, they've they've touched up the flooring. You know, they're using a different floor covering this year just to help make this thing look even richer. They're using better quality lighting, more of it, better, I just better everything. They really stepped it up here, and I'm super impressed. I'm really, really happy we have these to offer you. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.